Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Kali Linux, currently version 2025.1 on any Apple Silicon Mac. I am currently using an M2 Pro Mac, but this should work either you're using M1, M2, M3 or M4. Now let's head to our browser and then search for UTM. Now click on the first link to mac.getutm.app and then click on the download button and you should start downloading next we also have to download kali linux installer file as well so let's open a new tab and head to kali.org now click on the download button on the screen and it should take you down here now you can see installer images and virtual machines so click on installer images right here you can see kali linux 2025.1a now click on apple silicon arm64 by the side and then click on the complete offline installation with customization and it should start downloading the file size is around 3.76 gig so it should take a while to download now after downloading kali linux installer file and utm we can close our browser and then head to our download folder so here we go we have kali linux installer file and utm now double click on UTM to install, drag UTM to applications. Now let's close this and then open UTM from our launch pad. And open. Now let's continue and then create a new virtual machine. Now we're going to use the virtualize option which is faster and we're going to select Linux. Now click on browse to select our Kali Linux installer file. Locate your download folder and select our Kali Linux installer file ARM64. Open. Continue. Now set how much RAM you want to allocate to your virtual machine. Now I have 16 gigs so I'm going to give it around 4 gig. Now you shouldn't give more than 40% of your hardware resources to your virtual machine. We're also going to give it 4 CPU cores. And then we continue. And set how much storage you want to allocate to your virtual machine 64 gigs is fine we could work with less than that continue here we can set a name for our virtual machine so let's call this kali linux 2025 you can see the ram cpu and storage now let's click on save now let's run our virtual machine now we're going to select graphical install and then hit enter and you can see we have a blank screen now there is a reason for that and we have to make few changes to our settings so let's shut down by clicking on the power button right here and then ok now let's right click and then edit now we have to add a new device and this is going to be a serial so let's click on new and then add serial this is going to open terminal by the side which is going to allow us run kali linux installation so let's save and then run now let's proceed with graphical install again now simply adjust this display and by the left you can see our terminal window with kali linux installation information now we're going to proceed with english for the setup and then select your location set your keyboard key map now enter your host name it could be kali or your name or whatever you choose to use or you can go with the default kali and continue enter your domain name if available or just continue enter your full name for this user i'm going to call this everything tech continue and then enter your username for this account and I'm going to call this Thema and continue. Now remember the username is what you're going to use to access your machine. So make sure to use the name you can remember and the password as well and then continue. Verify password as well. Continue. Now select your time zone and continue. Now we're going to use entire disk which is around 65 gig we partitioned earlier so let's use entire disk 
and then select the 68 gig which is showing here all files in one partition let's continue finish partitioning and write changes to disk continue select yes to agree and write changes to disk now it should take a while to install the base system now we have to select our desktop environment we could go with xface gnome or kde plasma now you can use whichever you prefer but by default it is set to xface so i'm just going to continue with xface and it should start installing now this should take a while but you just have to wait and the installation is complete now hit enter to continue and reboot and that's all for the installation we can close this window let's shut down now if we right click and go to edit we should be able to remove the image file and still work fine so we have usb drive right here and we can clear this from the path and then click save now let's run again right here we can select Kali Linux and boot now after the installation we don't really need the serial so we could just close it enter your username and password to gain access to your Kali Linux machine so basically, this is how to install the latest version of Kali Linux on your Apple Silicon Mac. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.